Good morning. <laughs> it's uh, Ken. Hi, Facebook. Hi, uh, friends and family out there. Uh, it's 7 a.m. on Saturday morning, and uh, this is Saturday Morning Coffee with Ken. <sighs> I've been scrambling around the last uh, two or three minutes, because uh, in my very high production value studio where I shoot this Saturday Morning Coffee with Ken, I realized one of the lights went out in uh, my overhead light. And uh, so the lighting was really screwed up. It's, it's, it's still dark outside. And what is normally a great spot to shoot my uh, Saturday morning coffee uh, video uh, was too dark. And it still probably is. So I apologize for any lack of, uh, of viewing quality. But anyway, as you know, uh, Saturday morning coffee with Ken is just me sitting here talking to you guys about stuff. And I do not get to have my first sip of coffee uh, until I hit play on that live video. And now that I've done it, and now that people are tuning in, uh, I'm going to drink my first sip of coffee, and I hope you're doing the same. So, cheers. <sighs> really makes me happy. This morning I'm uh, drinking a mix of Sumatra, and I threw what was left of my uh, Dunkin' Donuts hazelnut, for those that are wondering what type of coffee I'm drinking. And it's really, uh, it's nice. The Sumatra has got a real earthy flavor and the, uh, the hazelnut obviously has that sort of flavor. So it's kind of a nice mix. It makes it a little bit lighter. But anyway, I hope you're doing well. Um, today, like every day that I shoot these, I had a lot of self-doubt going in. And I was wondering, am I going to do it? Am I going to shoot these, uh, this video? And every week I kind of think, no, I'm not going to do it. But every week I get so much outpouring of love and support uh, from so many people, uh, it really blows my mind. And I just wanna say thank you for all the people that have reached out to me this week or even this morning uh, telling me what I'm posting on Facebook is really meaningful to them because it means a ton to me because uh, I put myself out there in a way a lot of people wouldn't. I think it's time for sip two. I had a woman from Belgium, I kid you not, reach out yesterday and say, wow, the post you just wrote on Facebook really meant a lot to me. And oh, that makes me feel so good. Uh, makes me feel worthwhile for what I'm doing. And I uh, just want to say thank you for that. Uh, actually, this morning, I, I had a woman send me a picture of her, co of her coffee pot brewing or, of, or the coffee in the filter and said, good morning, Ken, waiting for Saturday morning coffee with Ken. So I get a kick out of that. It tells me that a lot of people are looking for connection and, and you know, honestly, if I can provide that connection and make people feel good, it makes me feel good and makes me feel worthwhile with what I'm doing. So here I am. Uh, with that in mind, I uh, just want to touch on gratitude a little bit. Um, I was speaking with a gentleman the other day and we had a real nice talk and, you know, he and I both have our issues and the more people I meet, the more I realize everyone's got their issues. And we were talking about things I do to make me feel better. And, you know, I, there's a, you know, a lot of things I do to, to perk up my spirits uh, on, a, on, an, on every day, to be honest with you. And one of the things uh, that I really am practicing hard with is gratitude. And sometimes when you're, you know, you feel life's beating you down, excuse me, sip number three. Uh, it's hard to put your mind in a positive frame. And... You know, I've been really working at it and I feel real purposeful about it. And I think accomplishing what I, I, I'm, you know, I think I'm accomplishing some really good things as far as that goes and keeping my mind in a really positive frame of mind. And one of the ways I do it is really intently practice gratitude. And once you get started, um, it gets real easy. You know, when you lay your head down on your pillow at night, just thank God or thank whoever uh, for the comfortable bed you're laying in. That's what I do. And once you get started with that, it, you, you, it's easy and you get on a roll and you get some <clears throat> excuse me, momentum and you thank God or whoever um, for the roof over your head. And then you think, you know, you're thankful for your children and you're thankful for a cool experience you had that day. And it really gets your mind going in a positive frame and it kind of blocks out all the stuff you're dealing with and that, that is usually in there, all the challenges you're facing. And, it, and I know for me, it's very helpful. And I hope it, it's helpful uh, for the gentleman I was uh, meeting with the other day. So again, I want to say thank you 
uh, to everyone watching right now and everyone that's sent me a kind note or a, a, a message of support or given me a call and said, hey, what you're doing helps me because uh, that makes me feel wonderful. So I want you to know I appreciate all that kind outpouring of love and support that I get from this community. Uh, and it means a ton to me. I don't know what this is. Sip number four. I'd love to hear what you're, you know, I'd like to make this worthwhile for you. I'd love to hear what you're grateful for. You post it in the comments. Post one thing, three things, five things. Um, you know, honestly, the more you post, the better you're going to feel. And when this video is done, I'm going to take a look and read all the comments. And, uh, you know, it'll make me feel good. So please, if you're, whether you're happy or not, think of something to be grateful for. Think of the fresh air in your lungs or the sunshine that's going to be coming soon. Uh, although it's still dark outside. Um, anyway, I don't want this video to go too long. Um, but I think that's something that we should all focus on. And I know I've been very intently focusing on it. Just being grateful for the little things uh, in life that make life special. So anyway, it's going to be... I looked at the weather. It's 37 degrees out right now. It's still dark. Uh, and honestly, the weather looks crappy. It's good... <laughs> It's going to start raining at noon and it's not going to stop till sometime tomorrow morning. So uh, anyway, so if you're planning to get out today, get out early. I'm excited for my morning. Uh, Lululemon, a retail store, a yoga store down in Naperville has a yoga class at 830 uh, this morning. It's free. I think they clear out all the space and bring in an awesome teacher. I'm going to go to that. I've never been to that before. I'm hoping to meet some interesting people and get a good workout in as well. I got a busy weekend per personally. I've uh, got a class I got to attend later today. I got an open house tomorrow that I'm really excited about. I'm hosting for a friend for an awesome home in Naperville. I hope to get that sold. Uh, so I got a lot going this weekend. I uh, don't have my girls, so uh, it. I, although I miss them, it does free up some opportunities for me to do some different things. And I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, I got a big weekend ahead, and I hope that you do as well. As always, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. I hope you had a wonderful week last week. I hope, um, you know, you spend it with family and friends doing cool things and that you're grateful for the little things in life. So anyway, this is Ken. I'm going to end with one last sip of coffee. I hope you're enjoying yours as well. Please post in the comments what you're grateful for, what's made a difference, you know, what makes you smile, what, whether it's little things like the sunshine that's coming out or, or um, you know, the air in your lungs or the energy in your body or your health or or you're, that you have a job, or that you have a, ho a home to, or a roof to live under. I think it's going to put you in a great frame of mind, and I think it's going to honestly help me, because uh, it's going to make me feel good. And uh, I do appreciate all your love and support that I've gotten um, this week and this year. Um, anyway, thank you. This is Coffee with Ken. It's 7.08 right now. I hope I didn't run too long. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope that you do, doing good things. And as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.